<laughs> Here is the truffle between an organized religion doesn't make Okay, now we got this. Hello beautiful people and welcome back to another ITAL Eats and Treats video where we prioritize health and longevity. So today you can see my hair is different. I have my hair twisted up because I look you want to get locked. So I'm just kind of like testing it out. I'm about to wrap my hair up in the scarf because I'm going to be filming a couple of recipes today. But yeah, I just thought I would take you along with me on a day in the life as a food blogger. So I'm gonna be recording two recipes. I'm gonna be recording a Jamaican green banana plantain porridge and a vegan lasagna that is soy free and everything. Everything will be on my website, www.italeatsandtreats.com. So I'm about to go make myself some breakfast before I start recording because who wants to work on a hashtag empty stomach? So let me wrap up my hair and show y'all how that's gonna look. This is kind of hard just doing this in a corner right here. <laughs> my goodness, okay. Oh wait, you know what, hold on. Okay, that's better. So I put in this little butterfly bead thinking that I was a cute 90s girl, but hopefully I don't look like a 12 year old. Anyways, as I was saying, um, I'm about to go downstairs and make my breakfast. It's gonna be a green juice. And um, I got this super cool fruit box from this fruit company that uh, has fruit, tropical fruit in Southern Florida and of course, I am so excited because I am hashtag Jamaican. So of course I love my tropical fruit. So I'm gonna have a little fruit bowl on the side with that as well. Before I go downstairs and start making food, oh my gosh, I don't know how to hold the camera. I wanna show you all this book I've been reading. So this is the book, it is called Bach Flower Therapy and it's basically just how to heal yourself. You can heal like different things physically but it's mostly for mental like therapy, talking about the mind and everything, healing yourself with flowers. So long story short, I started flower therapy like two years ago because I was like really ready, hashtag trigger warning, to get onto like anti-anxiety or depression pills, um, antidepressants, but I wanted to remain just, you know, indigenous and more holistic. So I'm so glad I started to learn about flower therapy. Let me show you the one I took today, actually. So I took two drops today. I took one drop from chamomile, is this chamomile? Yeah. Can y'all see that? Yeah. So I took this for just peace and tranquility and calmness in my life. And then I took this other one. This one is called Gentian. So this is about focusing on your faith with God and faith with a higher power. And as a spiritual person, I definitely need to, you know, rebuild that strength with God, because even though I don't really belong to an organized religion doesn't mean that I don't believe in God. I can link that below. I can link the book below as well as these flower drops. I'm not like a therapist or a doctor or whatever. Okay. Oops. I'm just saying those really, really helps me out during a really hard time and they also helped me out today when I woke up on the wrong side of the bed and I want to be more calm. So anyways, I'm hungry. Let's go get some tropical fruit. Okay, so here is the tropical fruit I was telling you about. So it's from this company called iHeart Fruit Box. It's actually really cool. Let me, you can't even see me. So I actually got a chance to meet the owner of this company randomly. I was at a vegan restaurant in Ghana and I came across both of the owners and I didn't know that they were like popping until they followed me on Instagram. I was like, oh my God. Oh yeah, I got sent this box. It came yesterday in the mail and a lot of the fruit is not quite ready. There's a lot of fruit in here. Let me like give you a little rundown of everything that's in here. So there's a lot of stuff. They ha gave me um, chocolate or it's not chocolate. It's black sapote. Um, it kind of tastes like chocolate pudding. That's what I've heard. So I got two of those and it's starting to get, it's, it's starting to get a little bit um, soft. It's not ripe yet though. And then I think this is a chayote. Um, I got a whole beautiful cacao pod that I have to eat soon. I might eat that today. I got a dragon fruit, which is what I'm gonna be putting in my fruit salad today. Yeah, definitely time to eat this so it doesn't go bad. So this is an unknown fruit to many people, but 
my mom, this was my mom's favorite fruit in Jamaica. It's called a naysberry. I can't show y'all it right now because it's not ready. Two mangosteen. These are like the world's sweetest fruit. I think they're ready today. I might crack them open. I got a bunch of key limes and I've kind of tried to stop using lemons and regular limes and I like try to only use seeded key limes now. And then I also got a bunch of this fruit called Longan. I tried it for the first time in Vietnam and it was literally so amazing. Like I was saying, this is the Longan fruit. It's literally so delicious. Let me crack it open for you. Let's see, all you see is my fingers, but <laughs> there you go. You can see it a little bit better. So it kind of resembles like a grape. It kind of tastes like a grape, but like even sweeter. And there's a big seed on the middle and I just love it so much. So I'm gonna put this in my fruit salad. The majority of my fruit salad is gonna be consisting of this honeydew melon, which is just from Kroger, it's not from the farm. So let me go ahead and make my fruit salad and my juice, cause I'm hungry. Yes, ma'am. not misbehave like that. Thank you. I know it's like it's not even spring. Oh, by the way, the apple is not right there. So this is the juice. It has a little bit over a liter. So that's a lot of juice. And I've actually been including maca powder and then ashwagandha powder into my juices because they're great for stress relief. They're awesome adaptogens. And I, one of the easiest ways for me to consume them is actually in a juice. So I'm gonna pop these bad boys into right here. I'm also gonna put a little bit of sea moss for immunity boost. Oh, are you? Oh my gosh. Y'all see this? Oh my goodness. Now I have to make some vegan homemade coconut condensed milk. I wanted to use regular like homemade coconut milk, not from a can because a lot of these canned coconut milks have like un unnecessary thickeners and gums and I don't want that in my diet. But unfortunately yesterday I tried to make the coconut condensed milk with just regular homemade coconut milk and it was too watery and it didn't work. So I have to do a recipe today and I have to have perfect 
condensed milk, so I'm just gonna make it really quickly while I'm eating my breakfast. Oh, also, if you want this recipe, it, the full thing will, is on my website and on my blog, and will be linked in my bio. Oh, you cannot be for real. It's so thick. Oh my God, this is so hard. Let's take a moment to look at how thick this is. Oh my gosh. A fourth cup of cane sugar. And you're just gonna cook that down until it's like half in size on the stove. Should take about 20 to 30 minutes. See that the coconut condensed milk is basically ready and it's gonna get a lot thicker when it's cooler but it's more than half in size. So I'm gonna go ahead and get the ingredients ready for the green banana porridge. I'm gonna use the coconut milk from Whole Foods. That, this, that tastes really good. Did y'all hear that? My mom said that tastes really good. So, <laughs> I'm making a video. <laughs> so this is about like half of a cup of homemade coconut condensed milk. You can't really find this at the grocery stores. It's very hard for me at least. So I like to make it on my own. It's affordable, cost effective, and I can make as little or as much as I want. I'm gonna go ahead and start to make this green banana porridge recipe. Okay, now we got this big old coconut that I'm about to go and break outside. But before I break, I'm gonna try to start saving the water and the coconut. Somebody was roasting me on my Instagram saying, why did you save the water? So I'm gonna try to poke a hole in here and drain the water before I like smash it. I think I got it. You can see that hole right there. Let's try. Okay, she's a little slow, but it's happening. It's happening. <laughs> there we go. I'm not gonna drink it like that though because there's like floaty stuff in there, so we still got it. <laughs> so this is what I do to get this coconut open. Do not judge me. <laughs> yes, you yeah, work. <laughs> All right, now we're gonna go ahead and blend up the green bananas with the coconut milk. Oh my gosh, I'm measuring the seasonings for the porridge and my spoon just fell in. The cinnamon! Okay, good. Determination. Job provide all my wants and needs. All right, people, so the green bananas have been chopped up. These are actually alkaline Dr. Sabi approved burro bananas, so they looked a tad bit different. I love these bananas. I prefer them over any other type. So now I'm about to blend these with some coconut milk and then add it to boiling water and add all my spices and seasonings and everything. And it's really simple. Like I said, if you want this recipe, it will be on the blog, on the website, step-by-step -step instructions but I already know it's gonna be so tasty and delicious. <laughs> so I added in everything into this pot and this tastes like my childhood. It is so delicious and creamy and silky. Y'all have to try this and it's very nutritious as well. Very, very delicious. All right, beautiful people. So I am just now tasting the porridge and it is, like I said, so delicious. Mm. It's so creamy. It literally tastes like my childhood. So my mom only made oatmeal porridge or cornmeal porridge for me growing up. But when I went to Jamaica by myself in 2020, I've had all different types of porridge. Bulgur wheat porridge, cornmeal porridge, peanut porridge, green banana porridge, plantain porridge. So many different types of porridge. So I've just been experimenting a lot more lately. And this is so freaking delicious. Like I said, if you want the recipe, it's on the website. And I feel like you're gonna really wanna try those. Okay, 
Okay, so I am back with lunch. The lighting is a little weird, just hashtag ignore it. But here is my lunch. I just whipped up together something really simple, like some chickpea potatoes, bell peppers with like barbecue smock. Smoss, barbecue sauce. And then the other day I made this recipe for some scotch bonnet hummus. Absolutely amazing, chef's kiss. Just have some cucumbers, some spinach, and some avocado on the plate because hashtag greens. And then I have some rice and peas, Jamaican rice and peas. So if you want the recipes to everything on my plate, go to the website, everything's there with grocery lists and everything. So I'm gonna take a bake because I've been working all day and I've been washing dishes all day. <laughs> So um, yeah, I'm just gonna eat this. I'm gonna read a little bit more of my book and then I think I'm going to go ahead and get ready for my lasagna recipe that I have to film. So, cheers. <laughs> All right, beautiful people. I actually didn't even get a chance to read anything because I had to get their next recipe ready, but I'm tired, I'm cold, but we gotta get this done. I'm about to boil these lasagna noodles <laughs> and then get my um, walnut meat sauce ready and then get my cashew cheese ready as well. Alright, babies, we're gonna have to like make some magic happen. <laughs> Seasonings for my walnut taco meat. Well, not taco meat, you know, like lasagna meat, you know. <laughs> Okay, so here is the vegan lasagna, soy free everything. I'm gonna go ahead and put some aluminum foil on top of it and let it bake in the oven at 350. In the oven you go. OMG! Okay, I have the lasagna. By the way, for any Italian watching this, I know it's not pronounced lasagna, it's just a joke. I have my lasagna on my plate, and it's really not cute on the plate. But I already showed y'all some like snippets and clippets and whatnot of the final product. Tastes really good. I'm out of breath because I just ran up the steps. But it tastes really good. Mmm, it's so creamy. The cashew ricotta is so good. Let me talk in my mouth full. <laughs> my camera decided to die on me literally mid-sentence, but yeah, the lasagna is really good. Like I said, please don't look at this plate, even though I'm literally showing it to you. <laughs> it got really like slitty, slitty and slidey and whatever, but it's really, really tasty, delicious. By the time this video goes up, both recipes of the green banana porridge and the vegan lasagna that is also soy free will also be on the website. Finally gonna enjoy the rest of my day. It's about 6.30, I'm gonna eat this. I've been really trying not to eat super duper late because it really affects me when I have all that sitting in my stomach and I'm trying to go to sleep. So I'm trying to have like seven o'clock be the latest, even 7.30 that I eat my dinner. So I'm gonna enjoy this, I'm gonna read my book and then I also have to edit a video for YouTube. But with that being said, I love you. I hope you have a beautiful day wherever you are in the world and whatever time it is for you. I'll see you on the next video. Thanks for tuning in. 